please, sir. I want some more. What? Please, sir. I want some more. More? Oh, no, I ain't messing with you. Hi, everybody. How's everybody's morning, afternoon, evening, and night? So I just wanted to create this video because I recently heard about the PS5 variable refresh rate being recently released. So I kind of just decided to take the opportunity to get myself a new capture card because I would have used the 4K 60 Pro from Elgato, but I did try to use it with the 4K 60 Pro for the variable refresh rate for the PS5, but apparently I found out it didn't work that properly. So I did pretty much decided to get myself this HD60X from Malgato, which I, I paid for my, myself, by the way, so you guys know at the time, which I'll probably put more details in the description and as well as the pinned comments so you guys can find out more information about the this capture card and as well as the other things too, as well as the compatible TVs and monitors that are able to handle VRR, variable refresh rate, and so forth. So I'm going to try to open this right now. And this is a capture card. Pretty much a little bit like a, yeah. Kind of like something out of like a sandwich shop or something. So we got the HDMI whatsoever that comes along with it. And as well as the USB-C cable here. Some good stuff here. And we got a sticker. Anything else? No? Okay. Instructions. Yep. Understood. Cool. Anything under the, the box? Nope. Nothing. Okay. All right. Just checking. So, this is what it looks like. And this is the back of it too. So, that's for the console. And as well as for the uh, display. Whatsoever. And then I connect the, the USB-C cable to the computer as well. So, Makes sense. So I pretty much know. So now that we know what it looks like, I'm gonna try and see if I could try and set up my monitor for it, which is the uh, ASUS Tough Gaming monitor, by the way. So I'll probably show you to you guys soon, and etc. So let's check it out. All right, then. So just about to set up the the HD 60X right now. So I got myself the PC monitor that I recently made a video about from before, the ASUS Tough Gaming monitor, so you guys know at a time. And this is my PS5 over here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try and connect the uh, HDMI 2.1 cable here and connect it to the capture card. So I'm going to put it at the back of the PS5. Right over here. And of course I made sure to unplug and turn off the devices first before I did that. I'm gonna put it in HDMI in. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's in there. It's a little okay, it's in okay, here we go. Just making sure. And then I am going to pretty much connect the HDMI out that came with the uh, capture card and put it in there just making sure it fits in there properly oh. alright there we go so that way it's easier to do so console here oh, hold on. All right, so console over here, and then the uh, output for the, the monitor. So I'm gonna try to rotate it a bit here. Just a tiny bit. I could also pivot, by the way. Okay. So I'm gonna connect the other end. 
right over here. Because I'm going to be putting it in the spot where, where the HDMI 2.1 is. Not that one. Oops. There we go. So that's what I plan to do. So that's what I'm gonna, how I'm going to capture the, uh, the device for it. Alrighty. I'm going to make sure it's plugged in properly. Alright, good. Alright. So we got that done. Since I was able to connect the... Uh, console to the capture card and then the other HDMI towards the monitor so I hooked that at the back and then I just have to hook up the uh, USB-C so that one there and I just connected to my computer so just wanted to show you guys how I did it uh, how I'm gonna get it set up and stuff like that so yeah then, I, then I'm gonna connect it to my computer right over here where the uh, USB ports are. And that way the computer recognizes it. Yep, right there. Just saw it like pop off just like that. Yep, there we go. Right there where the, uh, where it says like uh, Game Capture HD 60. X right there so that's how I, I connected it like that so that's how I'm gonna pretty much set up the the capture card so you guys know at a time so yes yeah, so now that we got that set up eventually I'll probably unplug these and then I'll probably jump into the PS5 console so I can run some games or a few games in the VRR and stuff like that see how it goes since I connected the USB cable of the capture card into the computer. So before I turn on the PS5 console, I'm going to actually try to update the, the capture card for software and the 4K capture utility. And it'll show, show that on the screen. So you'll see this little update here as well. It, you can also do that on the website as well, of course, and etc. So firmware updates recording formats, EDID, all sorts of things. So yeah, so we're going to try to actually update it whatsoever so I can get it installed. Yeah, we'll just like mix up the terms. Yeah, might as well put, put next and then the list goes on. All right, so it should be up to date now. So fantastic, cool. I'm gonna try to double check it again. Yeah, library, the the so far. So I'm gonna double check the updates again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Which I guess I could do like another install. Just in case. Just to make sure I'm staying up to date. Because I probably haven't been like. Must have forgot to update it more often. So I guess it should be fine. But I'll just put like another install just in case. Just to make sure I'm up to date with the latest patches and stuff. Because I haven't updated the Elgato software in a while. So I figured why not. So I could get like better functionality. And I'm gonna try to check it the third time. See if there's any more updates. Yep, that's everything. Okay, fantastic. So that was one for the the HD sixty X and as well as the HD sixty I mean X and then S, which I, I kind of prefer the X instead. Seems a lot more legitimate. So I just making sure that everything's up to date so we're good to go. Fantastic. So now that we got that done, now we can be able to get to the PS5 console and try out some, probably like uh, set up the the video settings in there and then probably try like uh, a few games here and there for a couple seconds or more and so forth. So let's go jump into the PS5. Alright, so since I was able to 
get the software update for the capture cards for the HD60X and as well as the 4K60. So I'm going to be on the PS5 right now and we're going to go to the settings and go to the screen of video so we can see the video, inf video output information just in case. Just so we can see what's happening here. So it, mine is currently at 4K so I might try to change it to 1080p. And then there's the variable refresh rate right there whatsoever which supports up to like 48 to 120 hertz so basically that's frame rates specifically so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to change the, the resolution from 2160 to 1080p because i might try to play the games in 1080p first and then eventually near the end of the video i'll probably mess with 4k because i might be like messing around with the HD60X and as well as the 4K60 just to do a little experimentation whatsoever. So let me just turn that on. And also works with the unsupported games. And this one I did try to enable but unfortunately it doesn't support my monitor. Probably not. Maybe like other monitors might support it. And stuff like that. HDR I'm going to leave off because you know I'm not that crazy about HDR. And I might try to mess with 120 hertz uh, near the end of the video once again. So yeah, so we're going to leave that alone near the end of the video and so forth. So I wanted to play like a few games with this feature. So just to see, check out of curiosity, to see if it's compatible and whatsoever after looking around a bit more about it. So I thought, you know, try the ones that are featured with the compatibility with it so we're gonna jump into the games right now Ah! <laughs> 
backup for a chase in progress. Please respond. Officers needed in the garment district. Alright, so since I was able to try a few games with the variable refresh rate enabled, just to see how it goes and stuff like that, and yeah. And so I'm gonna try and go to the settings back to the screen and video. So I'm gonna try and see if I could try it with the 120 hertz, see if there's any differences and stuff. So just out of curiosity. And as well as maybe even playing the unsupported games as well. So I'll probably try like a few more games once again, which I'll probably try like something like Ghostwire or Tokyo. And stuff like that. And etc. Which I, I probably like tried at 1080p and 120 hertz. Yeah, we're, we're gonna skim through that stuff anyway. So uh, I'll, I'll probably try out like the Ghostwire Tokyo here, mess around with the graphics options and yeah. So let me check the options here. And I think I probably might mess around with like performance and stuff like that. Because honestly, honestly, to be fair, that I kind of more of like a performance person because I kind of want to have like high amount of frame rates as possible, you know, etc. So I'll probably like um, experiment with that stuff most of the time. So I'll try out performance here. Which most of the time is at 120 hertz yeah. Just double checking to make sure. I might also try to mess around with the uh, the high frame rates as well. Just out of curiosity, see if there's any any uh, significant differences here. So it seems to be like dipping between. 82 or 81 but well, probably just between like 80 hertz 80 frames and 89 hertz frames apparently just want to check it out so it seems to be a little different with that so let me try the one with the uh, v-sync as well just in case so it looks like it's kind of Yeah, it's like back and forth between 87 and to 92 frames at least. At least good to know, you know, etc. So it looks like uh, the performance mode seems to be a lot more legitimate to me. So I might try to jump back into it again. Whatsoever. They to keep it at 120 hertz apparently so yeah interesting so you know i just wanted to mess around with the gra graphics options i kind of prefer the performance most of the time because i would have done like uh quality mode and stuff like that and i thought okay i could just try it out again just before i jump into the next game seems to be dipping a bit there too here and there, etc. Okay. How about uh, 
high frame rate quality mode. Okay, it seems to be slightly better than quality mode. Okay. So he's been running pretty well. Probably a little over 60 frames, so that's pretty cool. So let me try the one with the uh, V Sync here. Just to do a little experimentation, that's all. Because I, at first I thought maybe I could just skip over the quality mode, but I thought. I just might as well just try it out. Do a little experimenting. Alright, did I turn it on? It kind of feels like I didn't. Okay, there we go. It is. I just double checking. So, a B sync, it does that too. Okay. A little slightly higher. Very interesting. Kind of looks nicer too. Oh, details. So I'm going to probably put it back uh, to performance mode again. This is my go-to. Alright, cool. Fantastic. Really smooth, though, I must say. Pretty cool. So I just wanted to try out the, the quality options in the game. And, uh, yeah, very interesting stuff. I must say, so cool. So off to the next game, which I think I might try like uh, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. Because, you know, one of the try the games that are able to do 120 hertz and stuff like that. Just do a little experimentation. Did something happen? Okay, we're good. So we got uh, Ghostfire in Tokyo dealt with with 120 Hz. Which I also have to mention I played this game before. So let me go to the settings. And I think we have performance on. So okay then. So it's back and forth between 120. Oh, okay, 101 and. Uh, yeah, okay, it's dipping. Okay. Let's turn it on for no reason. That's good old J. J. Jonah Jameson. Nothing but the legendary rants. I love it. Okay, so I just wanted to try out the. Uh, yeah, I just want to try out the performance mode there. So let me try like performance ray tracing. Because I also have to mention I already had the uh, 120 hertz display mode already enabled already, so we're good. So let's try the ray tracing version of it. Uh, performance RT. That's what I was about to say. Okay. That's cool. So it's able to run pretty well. That's cool. Fantastic. And I'm kind of uh, defying the laws of physics right there. For some odd reason. Just clipping through the buildings like it was nothing. That's crazy. It's weird, but very effective. Why does it feel like a clip in it? Anyway, what can you do? Okay, so I just wanted to see how it goes. 
are pretty cool. I do have to admit the the reflections on there are pretty cool though in this game. It's pretty nice. I like it. You see the reflection of Spider-Man there. It's pretty dope. Very nice. Well detailed. They did a really nice job of this game in the remastered version. Alright, so we got that done. So let me just see if I can get to the to the fidelity. Right there. Pretty cool. Yeah, it kind of has like a little slight boost over the 30 frames. Maybe it's like running like between like uh, maybe like 40 to 50 frames, I assume, which I could be wrong, but you know, just checking. Because I've seen on my monitor, it's, it's going like back and forth between like 63 to. 120 hertz there here and there whatsoever and yeah interesting stuff very interesting stuff very stuttery but it is what it is so that's okay Guys, to be fair, I always prefer prefer the uh, performance mode most of the time because it's my go-to stuff. Couldn't resist the temptation. Really good stuff. And yeah, so I, you know, I just wanted to try it out. And yeah, so let me try like one more game before I finish the video. Which I think I might try like a maybe like an unsupported game. Maybe try like Uncharted Four. And stuff like that, and yeah. So, may maybe try it out with the variable refresh rate just out of curiosity. Just wanted to see what happens. for the load okay. so I'll probably just play like Uncharted 4 which I already got like the performance mode plus in there already enabled so we're good because I wanted to change it for no reason all right so that's fine okay but I do want to try it out with the 120 hertz, in fact, so yeah. And I did make sure to reduce the amount of motion blur so you guys can't, so that at least that way it's easier for you guys to see the action. Because I can't stand motion blur. It's just a thorn on my side. So anyway, so I think I might try to mess around with stuff here. Which I think I might try to pick, uh, maybe the laundry fight wouldn't hurt. You know, do a little brawling. Oh, shoot, get my butt kicked. Oh. Alright, guess right. Double T. Thank you. Arr. Get punched. Double team. Oh, he's got to hit him. Should have smashed his face in the concrete. Taste metal. Smack the Bredemus out of ya. Taste metal. Oh. Let me go. Punch me on my face. I don't have to meet you, fiend. 
I swear, these pr prison fights are intense. Oh. Oh, let me go. No. Unhappy, you criminal. got carried away okay so i just wanted to like try it out myself with the 120 hertz and yeah so i guess it looks like the same so that's fine so you know i just wanted to like uh try out the uh the variable refresh right there for the, the ones that are supported for it and the ones that are unsupported so yeah so at least with the the difference of it it helps a lot with the uncapped frame rate which is pretty cool it's pretty useful because even though it kind of was like coming in late and better late than never because it was missing since like launch of the ps5 and stuff like that and yeah but at least it's finally here and i think i do look forward to the 1440p update and so forth and i'm not sure when they're gonna like release the 4k 120 hertz so we're probably have to wait and see what happens over time i suppose so yeah so yeah, so I just wanted to create this video, you guys, because I wanted to, you know, try out the variable refresh rate, and overall, it's pretty ha pretty handy, I must say, no doubt about it, because at least you can find ways to go over 60 frames, which is pretty cool, and yeah, and hopefully more games should be able to support the feature, hopefully, with update patches and stuff, so yeah, but it's pretty cool, I like it. So anyway, so this is probably a good time for me to finish the video, everybody. Just wanted to let you guys know I wanted to try it out with 120 hertz and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And just before I finish the video, I kind of wanted to mention that I did wanted to try and see if I could like mess with it in 4K, if I could, just out of curiosity, for the capture card. So just before I finish the video, so let me just make sure I try the 4K one with the HD60X and whatsoever. And I might try like one more game at least, just one more game, just to do a little experimentation. And I may have to turn off the the 120 hertz because it's not it's not ready yet. We don't have the 4K 120 hertz at the moment. So I think I might try to mess around with uh, ro mess around a bit with roller drum here, you know, just out of curiosity. See if it works with it. And unfortunately, I kind of noticed that it kind of messed up my screen right there. Sadly, that's how it kind of looks a little split. Very awkward looking, I'd say. Very distorted, unfortunately. Guys, when I try to set up 4K with the uh, capture card, it pretty much does stuff something like this. Guys, it was kind of a bit awkward looking. So if I were to try to switch it with the, the 4K60 Pro, for example, which I'll probably do for right, right now for a second. Yeah, so I'm just trying to switch the, to two a little bit there. Let me just try to switch it a bit there. If I could. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... So I'm gonna switch it towards the... That stuff as well. I'm gonna close the game for a second. And try, try to go back to the uh, screen stuff and whatsoever. Making sure everything is working properly. And so forth. 
Guys, I do have to admit the downside with this HD60X when you try it in 4K, when you try to record stuff with it, it kind of uh, has a hard time trying to get the image properly because unfortunately what I witnessed there was like a split one. How I messed up the, the screen on my monitor there. It's kind of awkward looking. So I want to load the game right now with the 4K60 Pro with the Elgato. It's perfectly normal. Like no no splitting images or anything, so no issues. When I try to use the 4K60 Pro, like perfectly normal, whatsoever. Cause that's why I wanted to make a little small little comparison there, so you guys know ahead of time. And yeah, so that's how I notice the difference between the two. So yeah, and I did also did try to mess with the see if I could like enable the the variable refresh rate with the 4k 60 which I tried to from before off camera it wouldn't work that way so that's how I found out and even especially when I did like the Elgato software updates see if it can like if it works properly with it but I guess not so it's kind of a bummer but what can you do at least I tried so yeah so this time for sure I'll be sure to finish the video let's thank you all so much for watching me using the PS5 variable refresh rate so I'm liking it despite the downside with the uh, with the HD 60x capture card that couldn't be able to do 4k that couldn't be able to handle 4k that well but you know at least I try to you know just, just to experiment and stuff and just out of curiosity and yeah, so, you know, I might try to use it from time to time and so forth. So once again, thank you all so much for, watch for watching the video. I hope everybody has a very great morning, afternoon, evening, night, as well as staying safe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.